When you put the machine into play or record, a rubber wheel called the pinch roller presses the tape against a spinning shaft called the capstan. This spinning shaft pulls the tape from left to right at a fixed speed, usually 15 or 30 inches per second. All pro machines have three heads. All three heads are similar in construction, but each head's design is optimized for its specific function. The first head is the erase head. This head is not used during playback, but if you put the machine in record, its job is to remove any prior recorded audio on the tape. This makes a clear track for the record head. The center head is the record head. This is the head that's used for recording audio onto the magnetic tape. If you have a multi-track machine that is capable of overdubbing, then this head will also be used for playback while you're recording your new tracks. The third head is the reproduce or play head. This head is similar to the record head, but its design has been optimized for audio playback. Input mode feeds a signal you're sending to your tape machine directly to the output of your machine without going through the record or playback electronics. This mode is used to hear what you will be recording without rolling tape. It is a normal mode to be in during recording. Reproduce switches the machine's electronics to playback audio off the reproduce or playback head. This is the highest fidelity playback of your audio. Because of the distance between the record and playback head, there will be a considerable delay caused by the time it takes the recorded audio to travel from the record head to the playback head. This mode should be used during listening back or mixing. It should not be used during recording. In sync mode, audio is played back from your record head with a small compromise in fidelity. It allows you to record on one group of tracks while listening to another group of tracks play back in time. This mode avoids the problem of delay using reproduced playback while recording. This mode engages the erase and record circuitry. The record signal is not powerful enough on its own to remove all the prior recorded audio that might be on the track. As the tape passes the erase head, a powerful signal is applied to remove any audio on the track before the tape reaches the record head. The space between the erase and record head can create a gap in the audio on the tape when punching in and punching out. Later generation machines use a gapless recording process. When punching in or starting to record, the erase starts immediately, but recording is delayed until the same point on the tape moves to the record head. When punching out or stopping record, the record head is again delayed, continuing to record until the gap is filled. Enabling delay inhibit will allow the machine to punch faster by removing the record delay. It will give you a faster punch in and punch out, but it can leave jagged gaps or leftover pieces of unwanted audio before and after the punch. Auto input. When using auto input in sync mode, any track arm to record will go into input when the transport is in any mode except play. This allows clear communication with the artist. Auto mute. Tape machines can still pick up audio off the tape when the machine is in wind mode. The sound can be quite annoying after a while. Auto mute mutes all tracks set to playback unless the transport is in play mode. 